Tonight, we are proud to honor 12 local athletes who have skied in or been closely involved with Warren Miller Ski Movies. Warren is universally acknowledged as the most accomplished maker of ski movies in history. What you may not know is that he was also an accomplished ski racer in his younger years and, in fact, won the inaugural Eccles Cup held here at Snow Basin in 1948. What else you may not know is that although Snow Basin was a sleepy, mostly local ski mountain in the 1970s when the sport of freestyle skiing was born, there was no other area, including the mega resorts, that produced the number of quality, innovative freestyle skiers as our mountain. Our honorees skied at a time and in disciplines that valued daring and skill, overlaid with elegance and style. They were the elite athletes in their sport, in their era. Gary Nate. I've been working for Warren Miller Films for 27 years, 10 if I'm talking to beautiful women. Pretty much all the continents I've been on. Of course, the most memorable one was of the Egan Brothers at Grand Targhee when the uh, great big uh, hunk of snow <laughs> went out from under them. We're honoring Gary for a number of reasons. He's been a primary force in Warren Miller movies, shooting and directing major segments for 27 years. Gary can ski faster and better backwards, loaded down with 50 pounds of camera equipment than most of us could ever hope to ski facing forward. These young dudes just think they invented skiing switch. As the voice of experience who knew everybody who was anybody in the ski industry, he also took a couple of our honorees under his wing and played a big role in helping them get to the top of the freestyle world. And without Gary's video stash and good memory, we wouldn't have most of the footage you're seeing or be able to recognize many of our honorees in their in-the-day hair and shades and sprayed-on stretch pants. If you haven't recognized Gary on the mountain, and he's here most days, you can pick him out as the guy with the Warren Miller films painted, silk screened, or embroidered on everything he owns. We interviewed a couple of Gary's former girlfriends, he gave us the names of at least a hundred, but couldn't get a definite confirmation of a persistent rumor that Warren's logo is also on his underwear. <laughs> Gary's a terrific guy, a terrific photographer, a great skier, and we salute and thank him for the generous contribution of his time and film for this program and the enormous amount of talent and positive energy he has given to our sport over the years. I've shot them jumping out of the uh, tram at Snowbird, and I had a guy jump off a cliff over a bus, hit the guardrail, and went end over end into the river. That was kind of interesting, and so I had Tom Levitt uh, go up on the side of that hot air balloon, and, uh, and he dropped, oh, probably 40, 50 feet, and just disappeared into the powder. Great shot, great shot. Dean Perkins. Our next honoree is a great athlete who skied in Warren Miller's first ski movie, Deep and Light, shot in 1949. He also appeared in the 1981 film Ski in the Sun while in his 50s. And if he blasted by you on the mountain last year, you know he could ski in next year's film if they're looking for someone who can make real turns with style. We're, of course, talking about Dean Perkins. Dean was honored at last year's snow dance as one of the Snow Basin's legendary ski racers. Within the next couple of years, there's a good chance we'll be honoring him again, if he can come up with something he hasn't already done. Uh, perhaps strapping skis to his custom Harley and setting the runs-in-a-day record on the men's downhill. What about it, Dean? Ready to give it a try? Dean grew up skiing at Snow Basin and attended both Weber State and the University of Utah, where he was not only a member of the ski teams, but also the tennis teams. He played tournament tennis throughout Europe as well as competing on the international ski circuit as a member of the United States FIS World Cup team. In addition to his accomplishments on the race course, tennis courts, and the movies, he has long been one of the most successful businessmen in the Western U.S. ski industry, owning Perkins Limited and serving for decades as an agent for Ruffy and Dimitri. Over the years, he has maintained a close, enduring friendship with Warren Miller. Dean is a bona fide legend, and looks like a legend, but always acts like the true gentleman that he is.
Bob Burns. Bob Burns is credited by most people in the know for inventing freestyle mogul skiing as it is now practiced on the World Cup and Olympic level. Growing up in Ogden, Bob was a champion springboard diver and didn't take up skiing until his late teens. In an incredible transfer of athletic ability, he was soon beating European icons in races in Sun Valley before turning his attention and talent to the more subjective and aesthetic arena to what was to become the freestyle movement. According to fellow ski legend and maverick Dick Dorworth, Bob's trips through the moguls of the famed exhibition run at Sun Valley were improvisational exhibitions of grace, precision, and velocity in terrain where the three had not been combined before. It was said that the winners of early freestyle contests were whoever looked the most like Bob Burns. But his skiing skill and performances were only Bob's first contribution to the freestyle movement. As a former chief designer of racing skis for K2, Bob had some unique ideas when he started building his own skis, dubbed the Ski in 1974. The distinct multicolored squares and rectangles stylized a revolutionary combination of soft flex, soft torque, soft side deflection, and high camber, a design which proved ideal for ripping through moguls, throwing aerials, gliding through ballet moves, or skiing powder. If you were a serious freestyle competitor in the 70s, or a knowledgeable wannabe, you were on the ski. Bob skied in numerous Warren Miller movies. Performing one of the Burns turns he made famous, he was on the cover of the first issue of Powder Magazine. If you read the article inside, you might remember a fact that could win some serious trivia cash. What world-class skier, pioneer of the freestyle movement and ski design, was also the National Marbles champion?